Uh, huh. Well, yeah. so yeah, we're working hard in the class right now, and we've got some beautiful things going on. So this is the final day, isn't it? It's final day. We're in the kind of the home stretch. We've got most of the heavy home lifting done. Now. We just got to <laughs> add a little bit of color to the face, a little bit of skin tone, and I think we'll be there. Okay. Sorry, awesome. So nice. It's looking good. Thanks. We're working on the teeth now. That's where we're headed. Yeah. Excellent. I'll, I'll pan around and then come back for another demo. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm going to try them. No, I haven't tried them before. Yeah, they're different. Nice. <laughs> Can't see it. If you've got the reference here. Cool. Nice, man. First attempt, that's amazing. No comment, thanks, Carson. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Every time I say something, you're like, oh, that's not right. <laughs> you beat yourself up over it. This is cool. This is the that dots. Looks. This is the dots. Ah, oh, you're doing the dots like that. <laughs> Very good. Very nice. Bit of paper action there. Good old teeth, eh? Teeth. Teeth are just painful <laughs> with any picture, I, I reckon. Like no, That's good, right? Really so good. I'd like to sort of see if I can. Yeah, I, but I want to. I just want to know that I can finish this and it can still kind of look. Probably, yeah. yeah. Have a bit of a likeness <laughs> to our reference. Pretty good. So you've got the paper template still on there, haven't you? Yes, yes. A long way to go. Good though, you cut it all nice and accurately. Yeah. Your nose looks really good. Excellent. Because you're so close. Boil it, softens it, then you yep. cut it up. Yep. If you go too thick, yeah. it's just. Really 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 Alright guys, yeah. I'm going to start work. putting a few, I'm going to start putting a little bit of colour on the lips now. I'm just going to leave a scrap piece of paper and we're going to bend this colour in the teeth to give a little dimension to those areas. So I'll just do a little hand shield here to move this around a little bit. And we're just going to darken the corners, letting it fade inward a little bit to make it look a little more dimensional. Like that. So Straight black. Did you just cut that specifically? No, this is just a scrap I happen to have oh. in my hand. I don't, it just appeared here magically. I'm not sure what, where it came from or who it's gave it to me. It's amazing how the scraps seem to always fit. It's shocking. <laughs> shocking. <laughs> Very good. Still got a ways to go, so we're still developing it. Um, can someone get the door? <laughs> still getting there. But it's looking amazing. Oh, Do I detect a bit of texture template in there? Yes, we actually use the micro dot stencil right Ooh. here to help with that. I see you've got another one here. Yes, this is so. a little grunge stencil. We haven't really used much of this yet, but this will be used for some background right here later. <laughs> and we've got a few odds and ends here. We're certainly using the, the multi-circle here to help with things like the iris and people, mm. things like that. And even a little curve here and there that we might utilize. Yeah, and I've, I've, um, a few people have asked where to get them, and I have put a link in the description to schoolofrealism.com so you can get all your Drew Blair templates Yes, yes, there. We, we do so. ship worldwide. There you go. Um, let me get, where's the, there we go. So if you want to make some skin texture, one thing you can do is you can actually spin your your uh, mask a little bit while you spray. So let me show you how that works. So let's find a spot for it. So if I make this, I move this in a circle while I'm spraying like this, I can actually try to start getting some kind of skin texture. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. I can't even certainly see it with the camera, right? Start building skin texture like that. Let's get where you can see it, because I knew it's not easily seen. Where am I, where am I? There it is, okay. All right, so let's go in here like this. Got it. You got it? Okay, so let's move it into there. I see the tip of my finger, There's a, you can see the texture I create when I move it in a circle and spray. When I'm spraying with this skin texture, or this, uh, sorry, when I'm spraying with this micro dot stencil, I can actually create a skin texture by just moving it in a circle and spraying. And that's not too different than the, than the image we're trying to create. If I take a look at this, okay, so if I get in the center here where it's really dense, and I start spraying in, in the center part of it, like this, I really don't get the same results, do I? It's just a bunch of density, okay? But if I go into the area where it's not so dense, where the dots are a little more spread out, I've got a better chance of creating something like this, okay? So you do a little bit better like that. Let me see if I can get a little more density here. Like that. 
Okay, you can see that's a little better. Okay, you kind of see that skin-like texture created by the movement of this stencil. Okay, but it's a little bit, also it's a little bit hard to drift this out. It's good for small sticks like the nose. You got some texture on the nose you want to do that. Uh, for large areas like cheek, it takes a little more finesse to make that work. So for safety's sake, I will consider using another stencil, which would be the skin number three right here. And I can do something similar with that. I'll just make some circles. Let's see what the results we, what results we get here. So I'm going to move that in a circle, coming around like that, like that. And you can see, it's not quite the same, is it? It's a little bit more, it's a little rougher. So, but if I try smaller circles like that, just real small circles, do I have a better chance? I have a little bit better chance, but it's still a little rough. So the, the, the best result are something with small, small circles, okay? In the center of this are small circles. If you look right there, there are some small circles. But I might be able to make that work a little better. Okay, I'm actually rubbing paint down on it now. But um, still not quite as effective, though, as it is with the, the microdot stencil. Microdot stencil is probably the most superior for this type of application. That's not to say we can't use this, though, because we can. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. I've got some areas in the cheek here that I'd like to replicate, okay? A couple of areas like this that I like to put in there. Now push on into the ear over there. Try to get everything lined up. Got that lobe happening right there. Looks pretty good. Let's push over that right there. Okay, so guys, are we ready to move on? Do you need more time? What's the verdict? Are you ready, ready? Okay, let's get a little closer like that. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and commit paint to this side and must fade it out from dark to light. Okay, fading from dark to light. Uh, like that. When you flip it back, you can see kind of where we're going with it there. I'm going to go a little more aggressively now. Get in there and put another dose of it in there like that. Okay, flip it back and look at it. Verify what's going on in here. Is it pretty dark? Yes, it's dark. So let's push out into here like this. What about the other edge of it? This is dark over here too. So I'm going to go around the outside edge of it and soften that a little bit with the same color. It's so a little bit softer right there. A little bit softer now. And this right here goes up in here. It kind of fades up into there too. So let's just go ahead and take care of that. Lay this down from time to time to make sure we're doing the right thing. Let's push darkness into here and darkness into there like that. And there's a little, it comes right on out and leaves a little bit of a line right here. So let's just make that happen like that. Okay, as far as the lower lobe goes, I move this out of here and I want to get the lower lobe going. I really need to remove this completely. Why is that? Because that lower lobe is actually going to be soft. And to make that soft, I'm going to put some against the edge and soften it at the bottom like this. Let's get paint coming out. Make sure we have no tip dry. And let's try this again. Right, so I'm softening up that lower lobe because it rounds out a little bit. And then actually some of it comes up into that like that. So you got a little bit of an edge there. And you can see that I'm not quite meeting there with all the colors, okay? Not worried about that. I can always revisit this with a mask or something like that and just kind of fill that in. Because I really didn't commit much paint to that yet, did I? Like that, just like, fill that in a little more. That look, works better for me. And I'm gonna make this edge a little bit harder right here. Let's just make that edge a little bit more solid. Right there, let's go ahead and give more commitment here of the paint. Just using that simple piece of paper. Like that, there we go. So now we got a harder edge right there. And there happens to be a shadow right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, also, there's a little bit of damage right here because the paint was wet while I touched it. I'm not really worried about that. I can actually go back in and kind of push that into the background. Let's let it dry more thoroughly next time. Let's push, it needs to be darker anyway, so let's push that into the background. I'm going to run around here with it like that. Okay, so what I was talking about is there's a little bit of a shadow right in here. Let's just push that shadow. What the paint is wet in here, but I'll be careful. But let's make this a little dark right here. So it's a little bit of an inset where you have the cheek shadow going in here. So right around here, if I can look at it more carefully, there's a little bit of a dark smudge right across this edge. Kind of make an arc right there. You can see we're starting to darken that down a little bit. I'm going to blend it inward too. Bring it inward toward the cheek there. That's a very subtle thing, but we want to put it in there. Okay, we need to have that in there because it defines the contour of that cheek. There we go, like that. And when we get further down, I'm probably going to go ahead and add a little bit more down here too. On the outside, I'm actually spraying in the background here and letting the overspray bounce onto the surface. If you can't see what's going on, you need to get back here like this and just spray it like that. You can see when, you see when the paint is coming out there. Okay, so I'm just kind of softening up those edges like that. That makes it life a little bit easier. Okay, I can go back to the other side and do the same thing. Although I'm probably going to need some orange in here. I've got a feeling a little more orange than what I've got, but I can at least get this started. We'll go to the bottom and soften up the bottom of the lobe like that. And I'm going to go along the outside of it to soften all of it up. I'm actually spraying in the background, softening it like that. And then I've got a couple of strange artifacts going on here. Let's just tip that a little bit. And right here I've got a little bit of a strange thing going on. So let's soften that. Okay, I don't want to go too far with this. I really need more orange in it, to tell you the truth. I'm going to darken this part right here. Just darken it barely like that. So we're starting to get a little more dimension here, and that's what I'm looking for in life. 
All right, a little more red in there. I think we originally had sepia in there, didn't we? So this is gonna help that. I'm gonna bring the lobe up a little more, like this, like that, and that'll help that look a little better. I missed that, didn't I? Let's see if I can do a better job this time. Hit that, there we go. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna stop right there and let you guys start the foundation here of the ear, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that video and you found it helpful. If you like our content, feel free to be part of our community. Hit subscribe, tap on that bell icon and that will notify you every time we put out new content. Until next time, go grab that airbrush and do some amazing artwork and we will see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.